Hey everybody, I've been looking online at news about Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 and of course as expected Microsoft is going completely the opposite direction in terms of what its customers want and what I mean the majority of tech users want out of a version of Windows something that's actually designed for productivity and not something for um, Fisher-Price toys they call apps now of course on tablets and smartphones apps are great I mean they are actually designed for like mobile use and stuff they're basic little um, programs if you want to call it that that just do basic um, simple tasks so um, while I was looking at that kind of stuff last night I come across a recent version of Linux well it's new to me anyway it's called I think Zorin and we're going to go ahead and start up as a live CD it was actually on this flash drive on my Instrum 1525. I would do the demonstration on the Mid Tower Deluxe, but this computer houses a seat in Infinity V4 Quad TV tuner, so this computer is a dedicated machine to run that tuner card and it has to stay on all the time. Logged into Windows, so I can't actually restart this into a um, Linux environment, so we're going to be doing it on the 1525. This machine has 4 gigs of memory, 2.5 gig Core 2 Duo T9300, I believe. CPU. So let's go ahead and start it up. And what you'll be amazed at is this version of Linux will remind you of Windows the way it works. I mean, the way you navigate and everything. If there was any version of Linux out, I'd recommend an average Joe or somebody who's used to using Windows to switch over to. It would be this version right here, Zorin. And of course, there's a flash drive. Now, I'm pretty sure, obviously, um, boot up times will be even faster if it was installed on the local hard drive. But even off of a very slow flash drive, I have to say it's doing pretty well. And if you think the um, graphics in Windows Arrow is really cool, you should you should um, see the graphics in this. In terms of drivers, it usually works with almost anything you can think of. The only thing it's needing is, is, needs a driver for is the Broadcom wireless card in this computer, which I can't actually install that on a live CD. It had the um, the operating system had to be installed on a computer for me to do that. But the wired LAN's working just fine, so I got my Ethernet cable plugged in. And let's go have a look at this. This is the desktop. No start screen here. No tablet apps here. Click here. There's your familiar, well, start menu if you want to call it that. Here's your accessories. This is what comes with this um, Zorin operating system, which is a Linux build. There's your screenshot program. Here's your terminal text editor, disk utility, files, character map, calculator, just for example let's pull it up, just basic calculator, like what comes in Windows. The only thing, he, the only kind of issue I'm having is the double tap to pull doesn't work for some reason on this computer and on Linux, but um, let's go and have a look here. It comes with, um, I think, LibreOffice, that's how you pronounce it. That's what it comes with. Which is like OpenOffice, open source. Comes with these games. Let's see, for graphics. Comes with GIMP Image Editor. That's a very good, very powerful image editor. Keep looking here. Comes with Google Chrome and Mozilla Thunderbird Mail. Comes with these video players and audio players, sound recorder, that kind of stuff. These utilities.
Here is looking at system tools. I'm going to pull up system monitor. This is kind of like task manager in Windows. You have your processes. Look at resources. Using 522 megabytes of memory. This, of course, is 64 bit, so not too awful bad. System specs. Hit Core 2 Duo T9300. CPU. And of course, if you're wondering if you can run Windows programs in this, it does come with Wine, which is the program in Linux that allows you to actually run Windows applications. Now, of course, seeing it's a live CD, I can't really do much with this right now. But you can configure this, and there's a program called Play on Linux. It's a more friendlier version of getting um, software to run. So I'm not going to mess with this right now because, of course, it's a live disk. It has its own software center. Which you can go to download software that's compatible with Linux. And you have this big selection of software like let's say accessories just for example it's like 7-zip there's your um, Python interpreter more or less an IDE I mean just look at all this stuff it's just an accessories ton of software here. Let's go back. Look at a few things like let's say graphics for example. You have some sub selections here for like 3D graphics, drawing, painting, editing, let's say photography. Let's see what we have for photography. We have all sorts of programs we can download and install. And you can even see the reviews on the software. Let's say painting and editing. Look at all these um, paint programs. Now, of course, GIMP is a very familiar one. Let me go back. Look at all these. Um, you can go to. You can just say all, or just go to these subcategories. Let's say publishing. Anyways, let's go ahead and get out of this and keep on looking at stuff. And of course, you can access the. Um, Windows Drive from this. So this is, I mean, these live, even this running Linux on a live CD, let's say if your Windows gets corrupt, this is a good utility. Now, I was able to access this before. There we go. Like, for example, let's go look at some pictures. Here's inside of a computer power supply. 
Anyways, this um, this Zorn OS actually has pretty much all the stuff you need to get started with it. It comes with tons of preloaded software. It comes with Google Chrome, which is a popular browser. And you can install Firefox if you want. Because Firefox also works on Linux. So there's a very familiar Chrome browser. And the cool thing about this, think about it, it's free. The home premium version of Windows 7 and Windows 8, well, let's say Windows 7, costs around $100. And this here is free. Now they do offer premium versions of this OS for relatively cheap, but um, this right here is free. All you gotta do is download it and burn it to a DVD or install it from a flash drive. This will give you an idea. Um, this is a two gigabyte flash drive. The 64-bit version of this OS, when you load it onto a flash drive, takes one and a half gigs. That's a lot less space than Windows 7 takes on a DVD to install. So big difference there. And to think all this stuff is pre-installed. You have your Office Productivity software. You have your sound and video. All that kind of stuff. Internet browser. A little bit of everything. And I'm actually considering trying to deploy this on some of these older XP computers I have. See what I can do with them. If they meet the minimal specs, but yeah, just try to show you a um, Linux operating system that very close that very closely mimics Windows 7. Now, before I finish with this, let's go ahead and um, just have a look here. Have this look changer, but yet you, you actually have to do a full install to get to that. Here we go, change the desktop background. Here's some of the pre included backgrounds. Not bad. And look at the graphics when you actually pull a window back and forth. No, that's not my camera, that's what the window is doing. But yeah, anyways, that is a brief overview of. Zorn OS version 6. So let's see here. Just keep looking at a few things. Yep, this is Zorn 6. And out there it's telling me um, about Windows wireless drivers. This is my first day even messing with this. Yeah, this is pretty cool. It mimics Windows 7 really closely. I mean, this, this is like the start menu in Windows 7. But anyways, we'll go ahead and restart and go back into Windows. And there's Windows 7. Anyways, I have no questions or comments. Feel free to ask, and thanks for watching.